Hey, what is going on, guys? It is your friend GSQ Sub Evo here today to talk about the 2.5 movement that has been applied to all competitive settings. I'm not sure if you noticed this or not over the last past uh, day or so now, uh, but it actually has been applied officially to all the competitive settings. Uh, they decrease the, the distance between the walls where you're actually uh, able to connect to a wall. So you might be seeing uh, default players out there rolling more frequently and uh, alternate players just kind of standing there a little bit more frequently. Uh, overall, uh, the game type itself, uh, or I should say the, the tuning itself, is uh, definitely a bit different than some of the other ones that we have previously seen and especially taken into consideration that you're now seeing it in a different game type other than escalation um, now I, I do see uh, a point where a lot of people are saying that this looks like it might be faster um, I'm going to give you this first hint uh, because I'm a gal 3 dude that uh, always been around for uh, the times when we actually could bounce without any sort of resistance. They say that on this 2.5 that they remove the cooldown uh, and if that's the case it's uh, it's hard to believe because the 2.0 in my opinion was actually still significantly faster and at that point they said they had done the same then. Uh, so you know you feel a lot of resistance when you're bouncing it doesn't feel actually well controlled. You're moving your analog stick in this from 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Uh, and that's on your right stick, mind you. You know, your left stick is not really a part of this, so it's it's not actually angular bouncing as you would think. Uh, it almost looks like you're angular bouncing or something that you would previously saw in GAL 3, uh, but I can assure you that it is nothing like that. Uh, this is actually something that is completely different than, than what you might have seen in Gears of War 3 and it, it's nice to see that it kind of looks like that and remember you know we remember these things uh, when we're watching and uh, you know it was just such a great game but uh, nonetheless um, the, the movement here as you can tell uh, is, is a little bit inconsistent I mean obviously uh, you can see me in this wider gap you know I was really struggling actually to hit some of those walls uh, and it kind of makes it a disappointment because it's hard to judge now what you can and cannot hit. Um, you know, you hit these walls right here, you would think, wow, like, uh, how can I do that? But yet you go back to where I was previously, and it's just like, why couldn't you hit that? And it just doesn't make sense. You're going to be a little bit confused when you play this. I do like the little bit of adjustment. I'm not sure if anyone noticed to the strafe there. Uh, but you get that little bit of a, a boom right there, like a sling to the shot. You know, when you're strafing, it's a little bit more of a tactic, and I do like that portion of it because, I mean, anything involved in tactics for actually getting to your next target or uh, avoiding um, enemies, you know, obviously that's going to be a plus. Uh, and that's that's one thing I've always been for bouncing. You know, it's not obviously just for video purposes. It's, it's actually been a, a true tactic in bouncing is I want to get to my target faster uh, or I want to get away from what is hitting me quicker. You know, how can I avoid more shots? And with this, uh, you're just not going to be able to do that because you're almost stationary, like I had mentioned before, and you're kind of just like a target, and you're not getting anywhere faster in distance. Uh, left or right, yeah, you might be going uh, slightly faster, and the distance between the walls is cut down, but, uh, you know, that is a, a little bit of a problem for me, uh, personally. But give it a check out. Uh, see if you like it. If you need any help or uh, want any questions, definitely hit me up. Thanks for watching this video. You have a good day.